y'all welcome back to lightworks intuitive healing i am your intuitive reader and healer here today to illuminate what the most high wants to share i hope that you all are having a blessed and positive day please keep in mind that this will be a general reading so it may not apply to everyone however if you were drawn in to the title of this video there will be something in this message that the divine wants you to hear if you like the content, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. This allows me to connect closely with your energy, to pick up uh, your energy or those connected to you. And also, um, this channel is all about healing, growth, and enlightenment. So if that's something that you are interested in, then this would definitely be the channel for you. If it's not, it's okay. There are many readers energy um readers and healers that are of the light that may be a better bit uh, fit for you but uh nonetheless let's go ahead and get in the message and tap in see what's going on so i was drawn to the uh this deck here which is the gateway of light activation oracle by kyle gray it was pretty funny because I actually bumped my knee, which caused me to <laughs> look down. And I looked over into uh, my drawer and this deck just called out to me, like, pick me up. So <laughs> I did. I thought that was pretty funny. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels ancestors of the highest white light we thank you for your love guidance and protection please allow me to channel the current energies for the collective to be a clear conduit for all the messages that you want messages that you want to relay today let there be none of me and all of you most high god i ask that you would please allow the archangels to be present for healing protection and guidance and clarity Archangel Michael, please protect us from any negative, low vibrational, dark energies or entities. We close the door on anything that is not of the highest white light. Archangel Michael, please encamp the protection angels around us to keep us protected during this meeting. Reading. Meeting is significant. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Meeting. Okay. Meeting. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Okay, let me get these all in the So I hope that all of you guys are having a blessed and positive and beautiful day. So I'm being called to give you guys a card from here, just one card, and take a look inside of the oracle book to get the meaning. There's something significant. There's something significant about a meeting. And maybe I'm here at initiation. Some type of could be coronation, graduation, celebration. <laughs> something significant, something that you need, you will be attending, I'm hearing. Okay. In your honor, I'm hearing. Hmm. You've passed the test. You've passed a level. You've passed something significant. Solar light upgrade, solar plexus chakra, inner fire, willpower. Okay. Solar plexus is being activated. Sacred inner space, sacral chakra, tenderness, sensuality. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay. These two messages I got first with the solar plexus chakra and the sacral chakra. 
that is significant because your chakras um, are being activated, are being aligned. There's something significant about your passion, your drive, your willpower that's going to affect this next level, this next wherever this is that you're going, whatever this is that you're going to, the sacral chakra and the solar plexus chakra are definitely important. Okay, I'm hearing this is the card. Okay, I am present. Light body activation, accessing the divine within. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, so you have reached, you've passed the levels you needed to pass. You are elevating, graduating, being celebrated. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All the words that I was getting before are all related to this. So the meeting that I was hearing, meeting, you're meeting the divine within you. You're accessing the divine within you. The solar plexus and the sacral chakra are being activated so that you can confidently stand in this I am presence. Thank you, Holy Whoa, this is going to be a deep one. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Again, the sacral chakra, the tenderness, sensuality is on the bottom of the deck. We, Oh, my goodness. We have the heart chakra opening and unlocking. And we have clarity, divine healing, and vibrational energy on the bottom. So you're getting a full-on activation for all of your energy centers. All of your chakras are being aligned and activated, upgraded, so that you can step fully. Who are you? <laughs> step fully into this I am presence. Let's go ahead and read the card. Let's see what it says. Okay. Here we are. I am presence. The I am presence is frequently mentioned in the Ascended Master teaching. It is the individualized presence of the divine that rests within us all. Personally, I see no difference between the I am presence and what other people call inner teacher or higher self. It's the aspect of divinity that lies within us, offering us great wisdom is the inner Buddha or Christ consciousness. It's the part of our soul that has never forgotten that it's connected to the to divine love. Even when our faith is challenged, there's a part of us that knows there's something out or in there, and it's the I am. This card is the gateway that allows you to reflect upon the fact that this incredible infinite divine being is within you always aligned with love and always offering wisdom. For a long time, the I am has been dormant and we have been encouraged to believe we are insignificant and powerless. But the more we connect with the divine, the more we realize that it's resting gently within us. We are the divine expressing itself. We are a facet of the God particle having an individual experience but we are a part of the whole. This is powerful. Yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Just a side note. I've been getting a lot of commentary, a lot of projection, a lot of messages coming about religious beliefs, 
and what we are actually here to do, who we are. Um, there's a lot going on, but we are right now we are in a very spiritual time in the earth. And I believe this is the age of Aquarius. This is the year number seven, 2023 breaks down to a seven. That is all about the meek inheriting the earth. The I am presence resurfacing collectively growing. As you can see, this is a very spiritual time right now. And the excerpt that we read is just talking about the overall meaning of life itself and understanding that we are one with God. God is within all of us. Whether you are Buddhist, Christian, Muslim, the overall objective that the Most High God is urging us to step into is the I Am Presence. The self-mastery, the consciousness, getting to tapping into the divine within, mastering self, mastering emotions, balancing out your masculine and feminine energy, making these decisions that are going to benefit not only you, but humanity as a whole, like Jesus, Yeshua did. Saint Germain, Mohammed, so many others that we can go on and on. Buddha, all of these masters, ascended masters that were mentioned there, all reached this level of I am presence. They all tapped to tapped into the divine within. In the world, they wanted to classify, categorize, put everybody in these religious boxes. To, to separate us from the divine. We are waking up right now and finding that we can't be separated from it unless we allow ourselves to because the divine lives within every last one of us. Okay. I almost feel like I need to end this here. <laughs> but let me, let me connect and see what else they want to come out. Holy Spirit. What do I need? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, I'm guided to use the spiritual awakening deck. habit ignite your creativity with a pattern interrupt yes what I'm getting from this is that as I was saying the world wants to categorize and box and put everyone in these religious okay this is people are Christian these people are atheists these people are Muslims these people are Buddhists they want to use this habitual, traditional uh, means to categorize and put you in a box when you are meant to shine from within. Breaking these patterns, this is what the divine, this is the era that we're in right now. The Most High God is wanting to break these habits, break these patterns, break these religious beliefs that are being put on us to keep us separated. They want to categorize so that they can point the finger at who's wrong and who's right and who doesn't know God and all of this when God is everywhere and in every one. The law of oneness. That is what the Most High wants to restore. 
Release the need to make anyone wrong and unify with your truth. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is what it's all about. God is saying, stop this. Stop this divide and conquer. Stop placing these labels on what the I am presence really is. We are all meant to be one. The I am presence is within all of us. Sorry that I'm getting emotional, but this is just a really heavy energy. And this is one of the most difficult and most controversial things to talk about because people are so close-minded in this habit and afraid to break these patterns because this is all that they've known for all their lives. Yes, the Bible is a beautiful book. I'm looking at my Bibles here. I have a few Bibles here. I have a lot of books here. The stories in the Bible, there is some factual truth to them. However, the Bible was written by someone that had their own perception and views. That's just the way that it is. So to think that all of these religious doctrines and books are not somehow what's the word there's no fabric fabrication no uh, bias perceptions no embellishments it's unrealistic to think that that's possible I'm just sorry. That's just the way that it is. There's always going to be some type of bias, perception, embellishment, viewpoint, perspective, however you want to call it in every book. That does not mean that there are no facts in the book. That does not mean that the ideas and spirit, uh, spiritual messages in the book is not accurate. Some of it is you will only know what is meant for you by tapping into your I am presence and not relying solely on any one book to help you tap into the I am presence. That is just what it is. You're, you, you're meant to take from all different sources that you experience, whatever that may be, if there is something positive that's going to help you and help humanity, help us to grow, help us to be more compassionate, help us to be more self-aware, help us to tap into our very own I am presence, how can that be wrong? There are many ways, many tools, many books, many avenues, many lessons, many things that are going to get us all to this place based on our own experiences. So how can anyone denounce any religion, denounce any teaching, denounce any other book and say that it's not right when this person is going to reach the same place you reach, they just took a different route. So what I'm getting from this message overall is basically Again, the I am presence is within all of us. If we can release our patterns and habits and traditions and separation and categorizing things and people and focus on the law of oneness, unity, stop pointing the fingers at who's wrong and right. Focus on tapping within the divine that's within you. We will all reach it. We will all be able to reach this I am presence that the Most High desperately wants us to see. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Okay. I'm going to try to get one more from this. And I'm going to close it. Please 
give us another message. What else should we be aware of? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Whatever this is, it flipped into reverse. <laughs> this was in reverse. The law of mentalism. Let cl get clarity on your core values and commit to what matters, okay? This came out in reverse is because this is the state that we're in right now. Nobody's going within. Everybody's following what's popular, what somebody else thinks is the way to go, what individual religions tell us on how we should go. This is the divine saying, it's time for this to stop. It's time for us to get clarity on your core values and commit to what matters. What matters is not that this person over here thinks this way or that person over there thinks that way. What matters is tapping within, accessing the divine within, getting clarity on your core values. Where are your core values? Within. And commit to what matters. And what that is, is getting to this place of the I am presence. Again, it does not matter the road that you take to get there. God's going to orchestrate a different route for all of us. We're all going to go through all these different channels to get to this place. However, we're all striving to get to this place or we're all eventually going to try to get to this place. There's some people that have no intention of going here. Those are people of the darkness that I'm not really concerned about talking about at this time. This is for the collective consciousness, the people that want to reach this I am present. This people, the people that want to follow Yeshua, the people that want to follow Buddha, the, all of the people that, that achieve this Christ consciousness, this I am presence. The bottom line is there are many ways to get to this place. God's divine orchestration is not going to be the same for every single person. However, we all have this ability within us. We all have the core divine values within us. We are just being called to get out of our habits, get out of our patterns, get out of these traditions and go within to get to the I am presence. I think I'm going to leave it there. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Okay. Thank you. I'm being called to close it with a message from heaven. Spirit of the angels, what is the message? Stand up for what you know is right. We are supporting you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. As I'm saying this message, as I'm getting, I'm, I find myself getting a bit emotional because I too was in this place of categorizing, of putting people in a box, of putting entire groups of people in a box, of dismissing this law of oneness that we're all the same and that everybody has the divine within I'm not being judgmental and this is the reason why the most high wanted me to go into this a bit further because it took the route that God took me on to get me to the place where I am today I was one of these people that had the law of habit of tradition of a specific religion 
of thinking that if they're if I'm not practicing this type of religion with these type of people in this type of building that I cannot reach this place that is false and how did I learn that by following the divine within me that took me to all of these different places that had me intrigued by okay God so you're saying that I don't have to be this type of this religion to get to this place and there's not necessarily something wrong with all of these places. So I need to simply learn more about it all and take what I need from each of these different um, doctrines or religions or beliefs or experiences or books or whatever it is to gain knowledge in order to make an educated decision and come to the point of realization that there's so many different ways and so many different routes that God is going to take us all on to get here. None of our experiences are going to be exactly the same. And for that reason, you can't stay in this one particular place, one particular building, one particular mentality, and expect to be able to expand enough to get to this point. Bottom line, it takes work. It takes realizing that this one thing is not the end all be all only way for you to get to this place of oneness so this was for me this this message here and for you as well but this is god telling me yes it's time to talk about this stand up for what you know is right we are supporting you this is my spirit god saying yes i'm hearing my answer is to say yes baby girl <laughs> Yes, speak on it. We have to get out of this mentality, matrix mentality. We have to stop stop looking at what everybody else is doing. I'm looking at this this image here. I never noticed this. If you look closely, this person that is holding this mirror, if you look at the skin tone on the person's face versus the person's arm, this may not even be that this person. This person is looking at somebody else. This person is looking at what someone else is doing and not focused on their own core values. This palm trees and city and all this diamonds and stuff right here. This is all giving me Hollywood. What looks good? What's popping? The city. What the community thinks. What this people thinks. Diamonds, rubies, all this stuff here that is not important and has nothing to do with core values. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This card is also giving me rooted, grounded nature. All the stars here are giving me angel presence. Get grounded. Get back to your core. Connect with the earth. Connect with the divine mother of this earth. Strip down. Bear. This is night and day from this. This is giving me in the city, in the clouds, what looks good, even this person's makeup on their face is just all like a mask. This is all mask. This is all rooted, grounded nature. It doesn't look so pretty. Okay, there's dirt on the ground. There's an old, big old tree here. It's not like the beautiful palm trees in the sun that everybody is so fa fascinated with. Back to basics is what I'm hearing. Standing alone. This tree is standing alone. God's light is shining through and pouring through. Nature is very significant for us at this time to stay grounded and stay connected. The last card is trust love and appreciate yourself show respect for you okay so again 
what this is telling me is that while this is about unity, oneness that we saw on this law of oneness, unifying, coming together, this is, we started this with the divine within, the I am presence. So this is the most high saying, it starts with you. That doesn't mean you're leaving everyone behind. With you loving and trusting and going within, appreciating yourself, showing respect for yourself, making good decisions for yourself. Ironically, this card breaks down to a seven. What did I say earlier? This is the year 2023, which breaks down to a, a uh, a seven, which is the year of Aquarius. The meek shall inherit the earth. We are waking up and rising at this time. The Most High is telling us, if you go within and start working on yourself, start tapping into your divine within, this light that is going to be shining from you with this I am presence is going to help permeate this entire world. It's going to help things grow and blossom like we're seeing here. It starts with you. I'm being drawn to this you in quotations. It starts with you. If all of us focus on ourselves, our core values, tapping into the divine within, we're naturally going to be unified because we're all trying to strive to be, to get to this place of, of consciousness. But if we're too busy grouping up, pointing the fingers at somebody else instead of reflecting on each individual within, it's going to be a struggle to ever get there. All right, y'all, I've gotten quite emotional here. <laughs> it's just because I just wish that we can all really stop being so judgmental of other people even as I sit here and I want us all to understand this concept of Christ consciousness of the I am presence of the divine within of going within in order to help humanity I understand because I was in the position of being on the other side of this so I'm not judging anyone for their beliefs what I'm saying is don't be so close minded that you're not able to receive any other way any other route any other knowledge any other book any other building if you're too close minded to to even hear or accept or understand the many capabilities and possibilities of the divine is endless, insurmountable, omnipotent, omnipresent, everywhere, all over, too big to be categorized, period. Okay. <laughs> I love you guys so much. I hope that you enjoyed this message. I hope that it is well received and that it helps you in some shape or form or there's something that you got from it. I really do. And I'm going to go ahead and cleanse out. There's a lot of people that don't want these messages to come out. This is, this is a very, very controversial and serious matter for a lot of people. A lot of people that, to be quite honest, I was not going to go here, but the Holy Spirit is dropping down loads. I have to be obedient. There's a lot of churches, organizations that have a lot to lose if we all wake up to Christ consciousness and realize that the divine is with us, that we don't have to do things to keep these people rich. It's just plain and simple. That does not mean that I think that we are not supposed to contribute um, in, in service 
in monetary forms in many cases. Um, but I don't think that God intends for millions of us to continuously deplete our savings and checking accounts to make sure that a lot of people that are in high power can keep these houses on a hill, drive multiple Benzes, have all of this money, have this great life while you're at home and nothing's happening and you're still struggling and you're continuously filling up the, the offering pots with your last and not getting fed the truth when you go to these organizations. That's not to say that all people in these positions don't have this I am presence mentality. I'm not judging anyone. I'm saying that there are many cases where this is all about financial gain, power, control, manipulation in many forms. Mental enslavement, keeping people bound, making you feel guilty if you don't do something, making you think that you're going to be struck down if you don't do this or that. It's just a lot of matrix mentality mess. The most high is, is done with this. The most high is over all of this. And that's why this year there's going to be significant changes in these very powerful, very abundant organizations that are manipulating people in God's name. God is done with that. It's about to be a whole wrap out here. And you guys are going to start seeing that. So that was definitely, <laughs> that was definitely it. I love you guys again. I hope that this was enlightening for you. I hope that you got something out of it. Um, and I'm just praying that we all start tapping in, going within, spending time with yourself, your higher self, your spirit guides, connecting and getting the truth of what really matters and what we need to be doing at this time. One more thing, I'm sitting here waving this Palo Santo and a ton of ashes start falling. The Most High wanted me to let you know that there's going to be a lot of people falling at this time. A lot of organizations are coming down. The Most High is stripping these people of these powerful seats, powerful positions that they have because they are misleading God's people and God is done with it. That being said, I hope that you have a blessed and positive day. I'm going to go ahead and ring this singing bowl and close this energy and return it. So you may want to turn down the volume. Most high God, we thank you for the messages. We thank you for the words of wisdom. I pray that this message go, went forth exactly as you wanted it to. I return this energy to the divine to be transmuted into love, light, and positivity. Please and thank you.